Oh yeah, you see where I am. <laughs> Water's come down quite a bit. No rest. No, no. I've been down so long that my mind can't get no rest. No, no. This ain't easy, darling. Cause the devil's on my trail. I've been running. Joseph Green Mountain Gold Trap. I wasn't going to shoot video today. Honestly, I wasn't going to shoot video today, but <laughs> I couldn't resist. Um, no place to set up unless I want to haul material way the heck up there. Blurry, not blurry. Blurry, not blurry. Bl okay, never mind. I'm just having fun here or somewhere way down there. And so we're just panning. But I just did, okay, all these rocks you see right here. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Even that one that my classifier and pan sitting on, that little one back there, about 17, all came from up here. This one, was standing up on its end. I got behind it and pushed it with my feet and got it out of the way. And most of these bigger ones here, just a matter of pivoting them a little bit on other rocks and letting gravity do the rest. But first I dug in here, I did three pans, didn't even check it, and just rinsed it in my bucket. Came over, and got another one, panned it down so far, rinsed it in my bucket. And then I came up here and I did one up in here behind all this stuff that's a big boulder and of course this is where when irene ripped through here this is another small river channel so i'm not digging in the embankment um water ripped through here and of course caught with the main flow over here but anyway a lot of big rocks deposited over here so right there when i did my first pan i've got my second one right now that i haven't panned back I panned it back real quick and they looked like five, five or seven pretty decent sized pieces. Looked kind of chunky, but like I said, I panned it back really quick. So I decided to go ahead and shoot video and we'll see what we get just panning. Back in a bit. 
at my picture too. Oh, Hong just <laughs> take my picture. <laughs> Hong just got a nice pen. <laughs> There's about 13 pieces in here. Just one pen. Nice. Digging right down in this little corner right here. Now she's gonna go for more. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks to Steve, my good friend and brother from up north, he made a well accidental discovery. Really, he uh, he got into a little bit of lidar. It's not the greatest lidar imagery, but he sent me a screenshot of what he took of this area, and as soon as I looked at it. I knew this whole area and, and Wayne I'm sure you're seeing this I'm gonna send you that picture and email maybe you got it before seeing this but anyway that mountainside up there is on this side of the river and up up there it's also hilly over here so where that begins and then terminates I should say where it, where it terminates up here this whole area opens up so this from here all the way over and down is one great big ancient alluvial fan this whole area so that's pretty cool pretty darn cool but anyway i thought i'd just share that with everybody pretty interesting So I'm still at it over here. I uh, just took a pan from over here. I, did, I only saw like one small piece from there and that's where this big rock was flopped up. So I'm kind of surprised with that. Might be up in here, who knows. Um, I got my biggest piece out of this section over here. And that was a good pan. I've had quite a few. I've been panning them back quick and pretty much every one has gold in it. So it should be interesting. We shall see. We shall see. She's still in that hole. <laughs> Alright. Here's Hong's for the day. She did pretty darn good. And I'm still working on peeling mine back. I got it about probably about more than three quarters of the way there's still still a lot of black sand to go through so I'm still working on it here a lot of black sand back in a bit y'all want to get a better look at the trees that bottled up here during Irene on this side which you can't really see behind this there's a bunch of them but that's a big honking tree right there we'll look over here And that that's a that's a mountain. That is a great big that's got to be I don't know 15 16 feet deep of just nothing but trees all twisted up together. <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Looks like a part of an old car or something right here. Yep. Yeah, there you go. What's that? You can kind of see them through all that scrub brush. Back in a bit.
throw a picture in there afterwards. But that's what I got. There's some chunky ones in there. The two bigger ones you're seeing, especially the one in the back, it's really chunky. Pretty much they're all chunky stuff, so that's pretty cool. I gotta get in here with a pry bar. I kept looking around for tree branches that wouldn't break on me, but <laughs> I couldn't find anything. But anyway, that's not too bad. Hung did really well. She's she's still plugging away over there a little bit. But anyway, I thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Take care.